One, cut! In China, people like to celebrate with a bang. German companies based there are no exception. Festo is celebrating the opening of new production facilities in Jinan. The lion dance is a Chinese ritual that's said to bring luck. The German managers know how much good fortune China has already brought them. The company is enjoying growth rates of about 20% per year. And sales in China are set to become an even larger share of the company's total turnover. Festo has achieved this even though its products tend to be more expensive because of the advanced technology they incorporate. Festo needs to be better and have the best people because we're more expensive. We have our own on-site training program to make sure we have qualified workers. That will let us keep improving our product quality in China for our customers. But high-quality products can't be had without highly qualified workers, and they're in short supply here in China. This worker is one of only 15 at the Festo factory in Jinan who knows how to operate the automation technology. But they actually need 60 workers, says Zhou Hong. The Jinan general manager holds a doctorate from Germany. Finding highly qualified workers isn't easy here. Jinan is far away from urban centers like Shanghai, which makes it really difficult to get specialized staff here. Stefan Meinung gives us a tour of the factory. He's paying a visit from Germany to help Festo G. Nunn establish a training program based on a German model. These trainees are getting some theoretical instruction or working out some of the theory on their own, as you see. And our trainer is standing over there and is showing them the practical side. Until now, Festo G. Nunn only offered training to current staff and didn't take on apprentices. This will be the factory training centre. Soon trainees will get practical training on the same machines here that are used in the production facility. This kind of practical training is still rare in China. Other aspects of the German apprenticeship programme are also unfamiliar here. One challenge is that Chinese students ask fewer questions. As a trainer, I rely on questions to figure out where my students have deficits that need to be remedied. But this hierarchical way of thinking has deep roots here. The state-run vocational college is just a few kilometers away. Nearly 10,000 students are enrolled here. Traditionally, Chinese vocational students receive two years of theoretical instruction, with lectures where the students just listen. But these students are being trained with new methods. They're taking part in a project established by four German companies based on German methods. One of them is Festo. The students will spend their first year in theoretical instruction and then have a practical-oriented component. Under the traditional program, only one student would get hands-on training while the others watched. But here, each student takes a turn. Wang Ning hopes the new training methods will mean better career opportunities later on. If everything goes well, maybe one day I can head my own small group. And then I might be able to earn more money and support my parents. We're all one day dreaming of becoming a manager. We return to the factory where Wang Ning will work someday. Companies here employ various methods to retain workers, such as cash bonuses or maintaining good working conditions. Sometimes that includes events to boost morale. Like a tug-of-war competition during lunch break.
These workers are also celebrating that the Festo Group's annual turnover just surpassed the 2 billion euro mark, the banner says. A celebration like this would never happen back in Germany. But it's how things are done in China, even in a German-owned firm.